So the first small town near Gainesville that you'll definitely want to check out is going to be Micanopy. So with a population just over 600 people, it's definitely one of the smaller areas, smaller towns outside of Gainesville, but it's one of the better known ones and partially because there are a couple of movies filmed there years ago. One of the more famous ones was Doc Hollywood um, with Michael J. Fox, so that uh, brought some attention to the area, but it's a great location. You'll only be about 13 miles from the University of Florida, so if you're going to be working at Shands Hospital, the VA Hospital, or the University of Florida, it's only going to be about a 20-minute really easy drive back to Micanopy. They do have um, a few schools over that way. You do have the Micanopy area co-op school and some charter schools that have uh, gotten a lot of attention for the great education they provide. The public elementary school that you would be zoned for, definitely go check the websites, make sure the zoning maps are up to date. But that as of the moment would be Shell Elementary School and then middle and high is gonna be Hawthorne. Uh, both of those schools more recently have not got the best of grades. They've typically been C-level or even D-level school in years past. So if you're planning on public schools in the area, definitely do a little bit more research. Go visit the campuses, see what it's all about, and see if it's something you're comfortable with. But overall, the downtown Micanopy is just such a charming place. They have tons of little shops, antique shops, and a few restaurants that you definitely want to check out. It's very easy to go there, just walk the streets, spend an afternoon, enjoying all the little shops. If you are planning to eat out that way, I would highly recommend you visit Pearl's Country Store. Now be prepared. Don't hold it against them. They are located in a gas station, um, but trust me, just give it a try. It is great barbecue. Um, if you want something a little bit different though, you could also check out Blue Highway Pizza and then back sort of in that downtown area, you've got the Old Florida Cafe. Those are just a couple to name that you might wanna check out. But overall, it's just a beautiful area. It's a great little town. And if you're passing through, definitely worth taking the afternoon to do a little sightseeing. Hey guys, Donovan here. If you're new to the channel, I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. On the channel, I put out videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area. We talk about the best schools, the best places to live, all the things there are to do here in Gainesville. And if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So if you're interested in waterfront property or lake properties, you'll definitely want to look into Melrose, Florida. Melrose is actually a little bit further out. It's about 20 miles and will take you about 30, 35 minutes to get back into Gainesville. It is a little bit larger of a community though with a population just over 6,000 people. Um, an interesting thing about Melrose is it actually sits at an intersection of four different counties. So you may hear of it known as Four Corners. Um, Melrose again is going to be very popular and also well known for its lake in Lake Santa Fe specifically. It's a beautiful lake, a great area if you're into water sports, anything like that. Definitely look up Lake Santa Fe. When it comes to public schools, if you live out in Melrose, you'd be typically going to be zoned for Melrose Elementary School and then Keystone Heights High School. So Melrose does have a few different options when it comes to dining. One of our family favorites to go out to, especially for special events, Mother's Day, different things like that, is gonna be Blue Water Bay. They've got excellent seafood and they're really well known for their buffet. Then in addition to that, you've got Gator Bait Family Sports Grill and then there's also Friars Grill out in Melrose. In addition to being very well known for Lake Santa Fe and all of the water sports, Melrose is also well known for their love of the arts and culture. They have a couple of different galleries out there that showcase local artists and have different events. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, make sure you pass through Melrose and take a look at those galleries. So this next one pops up on a lot of people's radars and I always get a lot of questions about Archer. Since Archer is only about 15 miles from the University of Florida, I definitely get a lot of people interested in the area and asking about it. The population out in Archer is only about 1,300 people. And again, the big benefit is that you're only gonna be about 20, maybe 25 minutes from getting back to the University of Florida Shands Hospital and everything going on in Gainesville. Um, if you live out in Archer, you'd be 
for public schools zone for Archer Elementary School, which is typically a B school, then Oakview Middle School, which is a, typically an A level school, and you'd also be zoned for Newberry High School, which is a B school. Um, but honestly, there's not a whole lot going out in Archer. There's a couple of little shops, a couple of restaurants. Um, they have recently added uh, a little splash park, uh, an area for kids to play with a playground. You've got basketball hoops, baseball, football, and a pavilion providing shade to eat under and everything. So that's a nice little area where you could definitely spend an afternoon. But overall, there's not a lot going on in Archer and you would need to come back into Gainesville for the vast majority of your needs. So the next small town just outside of Gainesville on my list is gonna be Hawthorne. So Hawthorne is going to be out east of Gainesville. If you're in Hawthorne, it'll take you about 25, maybe 30 minutes to drive back into the University of Florida. Of course, depending on traffic, that's gonna go up a little bit, but it's about 17 miles away. The population in Hawthorne is just under 1,700 people. And now when it comes to public schools, if you live in Hawthorne, you're gonna be zoned for Shell Elementary School, which has typically been a C-level school. Uh, then you do also have Hawthorne Middle and High School, which has been a D-level school, but it has recently increased or improved to C-level. So again, you always want to check with the school board, confirm zoning and all of those details, but you can also just get a little bit more information, talk with the principal, go walk the campus, learn a little bit more about the schools and uh, collect your own thoughts on the area. There's not a lot going on out in Hawthorne. They do have a few restaurants. Uh, more recently, the Rap Shack is one of the more popular places. Then you do have Diane on Barbecue, which is very popular, and also PJ's Cafe and Catering. Out in Hawthorne, you do have a few different parks and recreational areas. You've got Little Orange Creek Park. And then, of course, one of the more popular things is going to be the Gainesville Hawthorne Trailhead, which is about 16 mile of greenway that connects Gainesville and Hawthorne and extremely popular for bicycling or running. So the next small town on my list that you'll want to check out is going to be Williston. Now in Williston, you'll be about 25 or 30 minutes from uh, Gainesville, really the University of Florida as a central point. So it's about 19, 20 miles back into town. Williston has a population just over 2,700 and now this is going to get you outside of Alachua County. Williston falls in Levy County and you've got Williston Elementary School which has typically been a B-level school. Williston Middle School again that same B-level rating um, and those are going to be what they have locally. You do have some parks out that way. They have a very cute sort of downtown Main Street area. Um, but it, again, all of these areas outside of Gainesville are gonna give you some of that small town charm if that's what you're looking for. They've got a couple of very popular restaurants. The Ivy House is definitely gonna be the most notable one. Then you've also got Sister's Place, just to name a few. One of the other unique things about Williston is there are several caverns, little cave areas that you can dive and swim into. If you search Devil's Den, that's gonna be one of the most popular ones ones. It's definitely something that's unique to the area and worth checking out. Another neat thing that you may want to check out is going to be Cedar Lake Woods and Garden. I've included them in a couple other videos, but it's just a beautiful scenic area. It is private. Um, I'll link below to some of those other videos, but again, if you're in Williston or passing through, make sure that's on your list. So recently I've had a ton of people reaching out with questions about relocating to Gainesville and I absolutely love it. So if you're planning on moving to the area and you have any questions, don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. Let me know what questions you have and how I can help. And to learn about all the fun things to do nearby Gainesville, Florida, you'll want to go ahead and watch this video where we take you out and show you all the best attractions that are close by Gainesville.